So the Synchro Link Festival is here and a ton of cards are banned. Konami has done everything possible to keep me from using ABC in the event, giving that ABC's boss monster, ABC Dragon Buster, is banned for the event, just like my Ojamas were nerfed in the last event, but that didn't stop me from using ABC Synchro. I know it's weird we're using an ABC deck without ABC Dragon Buster, but meet the new boss monster of the deck, Notoria Beast. And y'all, when people see this card come out, they either just rage or I'm pretty sure they're just wondering what the heck when you're playing ABC. Uh, just the thought of people seeing ABC come out and thinking, wait, you can't even summon your fusion monster is amazing. How do I do it? Let's look at some replays. We'll go over a small replay and then we'll go over the deck list at the end of the video. Let's get into it. Alrighty, so the first duel and ABC Dragon Buster is banned. How in the world are we going to make ABC work without its boss monster? Well, we go ahead and activate Union Dri Union Hanger, get out B-Buster, get out the Union Driver. Of course, activate Union Driver, get out C-Crush, and then we're going to go ahead and do C-Crush. We're going to do Revolution Synchron going into Ancient Fairy Dragon. Now, if we didn't have Revolution Synchron, y'all, keep in mind we could have gone Dragon Ravine. But Dragon Ravine will open up for other combos. We're going to go ahead and search a uh, gear frame here. Yes, Earth Machine. We're going to go ahead and activate this to go into uh, Therian King. We're going to search B, take out B. Then we are going to go ahead and go into uh, Platinum Gadget. Now, we didn't have to. IP actually would have been, IP Mascarena would have been a better choice. But I thought I could go into IP here as well, having both. Go ahead and get the Torque Toon gear. We go ahead and summon uh, our Earth Union monster. We're going to go ahead and activate this. Bringing out... Uh, sending uh, Sea Crush. Going ahead and sending out the Destrudo so that we can also get out Boron de Floor here. We're going to go ahead and activate these two. And guys, who are we getting here? Yes, Notoria Beast is the new boss monster in this event because we can go ABC. We're going to go ahead and do this going in to Boron de Floor. And so now we have two Omni Negates and then we have Unlimited Spell Negates. We also gave uh, Therian King an attack boost here in case they wanted to try to run over here. But I felt pretty good. And they just surrender because we have two Omni Negates and Unlimited Spell Negates. We're just too strong, baby. Now here, this match is a long one. I believe it's six turns and we are going second, y'all. But we do have the Forbidden Droplet. So I'm feeling really good, especially also having the Union Hanger. Anyways, what are we up against? We are up against Dinos. Are Dinos still relevant? Not so sure. Anyways, I know they just got new support. I'm joking, y'all. I'm joking, y'all Dino lovers. Anyways, he goes ahead and makes his Dinos unaffected. It doesn't matter. We don't have a Nib. We don't have an Ash. We don't have an Imperm. We have nothing. He's got free reign here to go whatever he is. We're going to go ahead and fast forward. The match here anyways he is going into some of the new support for the dinos but he's going to be able to go uh i don't know what full combo looks like for dinos in the event but he definitely got a pretty nice board out so he starts off he's got some targeting protection here we already know that he searched the pill as well so we know he's gonna have his big boss monster he's got the ability to banish a monster if they activate the effect He's got a really good Synchro Monster here that makes the cards unaffected. And then he's got his big old boss monster, Ultimate Conductor. Anyways, before we go over the plays, he's got Ultimate Conductor, which is really huge. This one here cannot be destroyed by battle. Dinosaur monsters that he controls that are special summoned from the graveyard cannot be destroyed by opponent's cards. Also, they cannot be targeted with card effects. He can banish. He's got targeting protection. And then he can bring back a level 2 from the grave. So anyways, we're going to go ahead and uh, do this right. We're going to use Tuning. We're going to go ahead and search Revolution Synchron. We're going to go ahead and the Beat Buster is what goes to the grave. We're going to use Union Hanker. We wanted to see if he's going to activate anything here. We're going to go into Beat Buster. We're going to activate this. We're going to do the Union Driver. Activate the Union Driver. Get the Sea Crush Wyvern. And activate the Sea Crush Wyvern. And then he activates this Dinosaur here. We're going to go ahead and do an Authorized Reactivation. And then Forbidden Droplet. Setting two from the hand plus the Unauthorized to be able to negate three on the board. We're going to go ahead and get to negate... Uh, pretty much the three threats that are on the board here. We're going to go ahead and get the A Soul Core with the Unauthorized Reactivation. There we're going into Ancient Fairy Dragon. We're going to get to take advantage of A Soul Core's effect as well as B Buster's effect here. And now we have Ancient Fairy Dragon with the Field Spell on board. So he already knows what that means. We can already go for Therian Discoliseum here getting another Negate. 
So we go ahead and bring back the Bee Buster. Uh, with the Bee Buster, we're of course searching our Earth Union monster now because that's our way into um, Victoria Beast. We're going to go ahead and get uh, this Coliseum here. We're going to activate this Coliseum, get Therian King Regulus. We're going to go ahead and activate Therian King Regulus. Now we have a negate on the board. We're going to go ahead and bring out or equip the A Assault Core. Go ahead and unequip the AO Soul Core. Then we're going to go into, I believe this time we do go into IP Mascarena. Uh, yes, we do. So we learned better, or we knew better now. We go into IP Mascarena. Go ahead and activate Sea Crush Wyvern's effect. AO Soul Core's effect. We're going to bring back the Sea Crush Wyvern. That way we special summon the Sea Crush Wyvern with its own effect, which is pretty wild. Then we're going to go ahead and activate this, going into Nightmare Unicorn. Uh, now with Nightmare Unicorn, we're gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna go ahead and spin, and we're also gonna special summon with uh, the Sea Crush. So we're gonna go ahead and activate this. He does activate Elf, which means absolutely nothing. We go ahead and activate this to go into Access Code Talker. We're gonna go ahead and activate Access Code. Then we're also gonna go into Borload Savage Dragon here. 4,100 attack. We're gonna go ahead and start popping here. We're gonna pop the Elf. We're gonna go ahead and attack. We're gonna go ahead and attack. And I actually attacked in the wrong order. But it's fine. Um, I should have actually ran over the um, the Synchro Monster, but it's not a big deal. We have two negates on the board, plus we have access code. I feel really good. We go ahead and negate this. We'll send Therian King. He activates this. I go ahead and negate it as well because I know at this point he has no plays. He goes into IP, then goes into Relinquished Anima, which is actually really good. He goes ahead and gets my access code. He goes into Gardano, however you say this, which is actually pretty smart because now I can't go for game. Anyways, we go ahead and get the Dragon Ravine. It's fine. We go ahead and attack into Anima, but he's able to make it to where he does he loses no uh, damage. We go ahead and get Therian Regulus here, and then we go ahead and activate Regulus because we have this Colosseum on the field. And at this point, that's GG's. I have two negates. There ain't nothing he's going to be able to do. Even if he gets a Dark Ruler, he can't do anything. Anyways, I don't know why he did that. It really upsets me when people do that. Uh, we go ahead and draw. We draw into Forbidden Droplet. Oh, I could have just Forbidden Droplet, but we went ahead and Dragon Ravine. Send the Droplet. Send the Scrudo. Bring this out. Go into Zeta and then Zeta away the Link Monster. Just to show him that, you know, we had this. We're just too good. So we go ahead and Zeta that away and then we just go for game. GG's easy. GG's to the opponent. Seb El Jefe. He's not the boss. Alrighty, and for the third and last match for the event, just a quick video, y'all. We got a perfect, beautiful hand. We're going to go into Union Hanger. Going to go ahead and search the Bee Buster Drake. Of course, we're going to play Bee Buster. We're going to equip it to Union Driver. Use Union Driver's effect to get Sea Crush Wyvern. Then we're obviously going to go into Revolution Seacron. You've seen this before. We're going into Ancient Fairy Dragon. We're going to search for our Earth Union Monster. We're going to go ahead and activate this effect to go into Disc Coliseum. We're going to go ahead and activate this Coliseum, getting Regulus. Go ahead and activate Regulus, equipping the Bee Buster Drake. Regulus is coming out now. Now here what we're going to go ahead and do is activate the Bee Buster. Then we're going to go ahead and link away. Now again, I'm not sure if I made the mistake. No, we do go into IP Mascarena. So we definitely learn from our mistakes here. Having the IP Mascarena. That way, um, if uh, um, um, Baron de Flor loses the effect negate, uh, the negate that we're going to have, then we can just use them to be able to spin or something. We're going to go ahead and activate Dragon Ravine so that we can go ahead and get out our level 3 for um, Baron de Floor here. Get the Revolution Synchron. That way we're going to be able to go into Notoria Beast, of course. So we'll go into Notoria Beast here. Then we're going to go into Baron de Floor. Now we have the Baron de Floor here. So now we have two Omni Negates. We have a unlimited spell negate. We can also have a removal with the banish effect. Go ahead and negate this. And then we have IP Mascarena, which will let us go into um, Nightmare Unicorn. Worst case goddess if we have to. So we have quite a bit of interruptions here. Anyways, we go ahead and negate the Harpy Feather Duster. He activates this. We're going to go ahead and negate that because we don't want him to get presence on the board and be able to either Link Climb or Synchro Summon. We're just going to go ahead and get rid of that, destroy it. After reading its effect, I saw the benefit. He activates another spell. Of course, we have unlimited spell negates because we're just too strong. The new ABC boss monster, y'all. Go ahead and negate that. Now, of course, Notoria Beast has made its way into the uh, competitive version of this deck as well. Of course, we're just negating everything because we're just too powerful. And keep in mind, we still had another Omni Negate plus a spin with IP Mascarena or potentially a goddess. 
Alrighty, y'all, before we get into the deck list, I just want to show you an alternate route that this deck has, as there is other cards in the extra deck. Now, for this to work, you do have to have a back row that you can activate in response to Forbidden, I mean, to, um, to Dark Ruler no more. If you get Dark Ruler, that's why Hot Red Archfiend Abyss is here. Uh, of course, for the effect it's in itself. But um, you can become Droplet, say, for let's say maybe you want to have just a weird other combo. You can do Penguin Brave, which this is why he's in here. Uh, but the way that we would accomplish special summoning uh, the Archfiend is we would go Union Hanger. You have to have Union Hanger and Revolution Synchron in hand or at least some ways of being able to get into them. Uh, we would search the Bee Buster, which is why I didn't always do this. I actually didn't go this route in the event at all because I was never really Dark Ruler, so it didn't really matter. We'd activate the Bee Buster here, activate the Union Hanger effect. I'm just going to show you how to get into Red Archfiend. Uh, we would then equip the Union Driver. Now, keep in mind, there's several ways of going into this combo. This is just one of the ways. Uh, what we would do is uh, equip the Sea Crush Wyvern, activate the Sea Crush Wyvern, and then just kind of set them on the side there. We're going to go ahead and activate the Ancient Fairy Dragon by using the Revolution Synchron and the Bee Buster in our hand. Um, this will let us search another field spell, which we don't really need another field spell, but if they have like an Imperm or Nash or something, this will help you uh, get rid of that. With Aya Soul Core, we're going to search Torque Toon Gear. Normally, you were search Gear Frame if you want to go into um, Notoria Beast, uh, but that's not the route we're going to go. We're going to activate Revolution Synchron. The reason we're going to do that is in case Ancient Fairy Dragon gets stopped somehow. Uh, what we're going to go ahead and do then is activate Ancient Fairy Dragon. This is just to see if they Ash this or whatever. They can get rid of it, but we no longer need that. We don't need any of these, to be honest. We'll go ahead and get the Ethereum Disc Colosseum, though, just because it's going to be beneficial. And we could actually use it as discard fodder at this point, which is probably what we're going to end up doing. Um, so here, what we can do is we can already go into Samsara if we wanted to. This will let us special summon the Torque Toon Gear. The Ring King is going to get us the other master. Let me actually show you um, how that, what that looks like. Um, so what we would do is we would actually go ahead and go into Samsara here. Um, and Samsara has additional effects if going second. So keep that in mind. This is just to show you how to go into the Archfiend. So we'll do that. This is going to let us activate the special summon effect of Sea Crush Wyvern, summoning the Torque Toon Gear. Then we're going to go into Therian, um, Therian Disc Coliseum here, or Therian Disc Coliseum, sorry, Therian King. We'll go ahead and get the Bee Buster out. We'll be able to do this. We'll then get the Bee Buster out, activate Bee Buster. We'll be able to equip the Torque Toon Gear to Bee Buster. And before we go into the Archfiend, because if y'all see now, we can finally go into the Archfiend, Red Hawk Dragon Archfiend, uh, with Bee Buster and Samsara. Before we do that, we want to activate the Dragon Ravine. And since we, we want to keep the Droplet since it's extra, we'll go ahead and activate the Dragon Ravine, sending the Disc Coliseum, sending Distrudo. This will give us an additional negate here. We'll activate the uh, Distrudo using the Bee Buster. And so now what we can do is we can go ahead and go into the Hot Red Archfiend. And you could choose whatever you want. So whatever's the, the whatever's in the extra deck at this point is whatever you want to have. But I just wanted to show you how to get into this if you wanted to be Dark Ruler safe. Just keep in mind you have to have a back row that you can respond to. Um, so that then you what will happen is they'll activate Dark Ruler. You'll respond with the back row. And then Archfiend's effect will let you negate a face-up card on the board. Which will be the Dark Ruler that the opponent activates. So just keep that in mind. Uh, from here, we actually we actually haven't even activated um, the uh, the ancient fairy dragon's effect. So if we wanted to, we could go different plays as well. Like we could go into IP, but I would much rather have the negate. Um, we don't need a soul core plus. We can keep them in hand to send away with droplet anyways. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is we'll go into Baron de Floor here. And the board may look uh, weak, and in regards, uh, or actually, well, in comparison to the other board, I prefer the other board. But again, this was just kind of to show you, I mean, we have two Omni Negates. We do have the uh, Hot Red Dragon Archfiend effect, which you can target a face of card opponent controls and negate it. Um, and then, of course, we have the Droplet face down. The board is still not that bad, considering that we can't summon ABC. And if you look what's in our grave, if we chose the right cards, we technically could have gone ABC. Actually, a Soul Core's on the board. We could have summoned them. 
and we could have actually gone ABC. What we would have done is I would have actually summoned a Assault Core with Ancient Fairy Dragon, destroyed it with Barone's Effect, brought back Torque Toon Gear to my hand. That way I have the ability to send a card to hand and then go ABC. Then we would have had three neg two Omni Negates, one Effect Negate, Droplet, and an ABC. So even in rank, this combo is definitely viable. But anyway, just wanted to show you the path to Red Hot Archfiend if you wanted to do that. You could also choo choose paths to um, Penguin Brave, which is not i think i went into penguin brave once when I, I think i bricked and i still had penguin soldier to activate which actually saved me the game but anyways just to show you how to get into red hot arch fiend let's get into the deck list keep in mind it's not the strongest deck in the world but if you've been following my channel and you've been following abc and you already have most of these cards then you don't have to craft any new cards which is the nice thing which is the reason i do these y'all also i like to play the cards or the decks i like to play i could have easily picked up sword soul which off you have sword soul just play sword soul I mean, really, if it's just for the gems, it's that easy. Sword, it's the Sword Soul event. But if you want to have fun, you want to play something interesting, you know, you, you want to get a kick out of your opponents when they see you play some weird cards when you're playing machines, this is it right here. We have what Gen C Jet Synchron never really comes into play, but it's there in case the play does come. One Torque Toon Gear, one Penguin Soldier. He's kind of a brick, but you don't really brick with the 40 card deck and all the all the options that you have. Three Revolution Synchrons, two uh, Gear Frame. Or uh, Makina Gear Frame, two ASO cores, two B Busters, two C Crush, one Union Driver. And the reason you can do one is because now you have Revolution Synchron, one Destrudo, uh, one Therian King, one Nibiru, two Raigekis in case you're going second, uh, three Tunings, three Dragon Ravines because you want to get a Tainted Fire Dragon, three Union Hangers, two Disc Coliseums, two Cosmic Cyclones against, or three Cosmic Cyclones against you're going second. And so that you also have that back row in case you need to be Dark Ruler safe with Hot Red Archfiend Dragon, or um, keep saying that backwards. Uh, three unauthorized reactivations because they're pretty much Union Hanger, but you know, you'll, they don't stay on the board. Three droplets in case you're going second. For the extra deck, Notoria Beast, which is usually the route you're going to go, or at least the route that I went. Uh, Samsara in case you need to go into Red Hot Archfiend. SL Synchron. SL Synchron, this doesn't really come into play much, but. It lets you go into the plays with Coral Dragon and Penguin Brave if you need to. If you find yourself in a bricky situation, which I didn't find myself in. One Ancient Fairy Dragon, because Ancient Fairy Dragon always. Zeta doesn't always come, but uh, in the long in the long game, Zeta is actually really handy. Borloid Savage Dragon comes into play sometimes. Red Hot Archfiend just want to have them instead of not have them. Borloid's usually always the go-to. Platinum Gadget and then IP Mascarena. So on the opponent's turn, you can either Unicorn or Goddess. Unicorn, Access Code Talker for game, and then Underworld Goddess. Pretty basic deck. Again, if you've been following this channel, um, this is the reason I do these, y'all, is because y'all probably already have these cards, and it'll make the event easier. By no means are you going to be top tier, god tier, you know, um, um, just not losing. You're going to lose some, but I honestly uh, uh, melted through the event fairly quickly. Here is the uh, Synchro Link Festival. We finished it in just a few hours. I want to say maybe it took maybe two and a half, three hours. Uh, to finish the full event um and that's while i was multitasking i was doing other stuff so pretty quickly we finished the event we also finished the legend anthology event um i did a great old deck for this one um it was kind of a meme deck but it also melted through the event and it was extremely fun to play but that's a great old deck you can just pause the video and look at that if you're still on the legend anthology event don't know if that's over yet it's until the 25th so there's still time anyways y'all please like comment subscribe catch you on the next one